seen as my garage in Mount Albert in Auckland, early 1952. It was here that, that a good deal of the construction of the first post-war club glider, a Slingsby T-31, was carried out. This was the launching ceremony about June 1952, and the honours were carried out by Mrs. Doug Gregg, the wife of the managing director of the local aircraft repair company, Doug Gregg, better known as uh, Grata Gregg. It was built from a kit set costing us about 600 pounds and about 2,000 hours of work. This is Ralph Court who was doing the testing. Ralph was still in the Air Force Reserve at that stage and a squadron leader. His wife used to say when he rubs his nose he's really nervous. An ostrovers used for towing. This is Mangere Airdrome, little more than a 40 acre paddock in those days, but now the site of Auckland's International Airport. much of a day weather-wise, but the test went really well and everybody was really excited and champing at the bit to have a fly on this glider we'd spent too much, so much time building. Fortunately, we were given the use of Ardmore Airdrome at that stage for our flying, and it proved to be ideal for auto launching. We had this old car stripped down and specially made for the purpose, really. And we could get up heights of about 1,200 feet if there was a good wind. <laughs> 